Nintendo dropped another short trailer for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door earlier this morning. So of course, we're gonna comb through and see what secrets and details we can find. But first, let's compare the new clips here to the original game. So the first new clip is with Mario and the Yoshi Kid in Creepy Steeple, opening the ornate chest that frees all of the booze. Firstly, we can see another new shot or panicked animation for Yoshi here, one that's different than what we've seen before. So the party members don't only have new animations, they have quite a few of them at that. Mario's animation is also a bit different. While he flailed his arms and legs in the original game at this point, now we can see his expression is also a bit different. The boos speak with a dark blue dialogue bubble as they escape, and it makes me wonder if we'll be seeing more stylized dialogue bubbles as different characters speak throughout the adventure. Not everyone, of course, but maybe some bosses or different kinds of enemies can have more unique looking ones. We can also hear the standard voice clip for the boo laugh play here as they're freed, which didn't play in the original game. This basement of Creepy Steeple is living up to its name though, because the new design here really makes it feel, well, creepy. Next, we see Mario and Koops in Glitzville, trying to catch the egg with the hot dog salesman. The camera for this section seems to be locked to the area, as we can see Mario and Koops running around, but they don't look like they can run anywhere in Glitzville, specifically only around the hot dog stand. The next new clip has me pretty excited. It's the smorg miasma on top of the XS Express. We can see all of the passengers are held by the mass of enemies, but there's one key difference here. We don't see the red center group of smorg. Now, this may just be to simply hide the weak spot of the miasma before the battle starts. I don't think this means they got rid of the red ones or anything like that. We can also see, as the camera pans around, that the smorg emits small puffs of smoke, or some sort of cloudy particle. Almost makes them seem like they're covered in dirt or dust or something. Otherwise, we also get a nice look at Admiral Bobbery standing with Mario. And we haven't really seen him in footage thus far, so it's great to see him animating here. Next up, we have Miss Mouse giving Mario a little smooch in Hooktail's castle, where we can see Koops even has a little reaction. He blinks and takes on a sort of flustered, surprised pose. Seriously, I'm loving how animated all the partners are. Finally, we can see the Emerald Star brought to the Thousand Year Door, and when Mario gets the next Crystal Star marked on his map, the whole party actually shows up. I love this detail so much. We had a hint of it before, with all of the party seen on the blimp to Glitzville, but this confirms that some cutscenes will indeed feature all of the party at once. They may not all offer dialogue, but it's great to see everyone standing together with Mario like this, because we never really had it before. I can't wait to see how this scene looks when we have the full party here too. Anyway, the effects in this scene look pretty great, and we can see the Emerald Star on the right, which is the first time we've seen a Crystal Star in the remake. It almost looks crafted with a green foil, and it fits the updated art style quite nicely. Okay, we're almost done here, but before we wrap up, there's a couple of last things I want to draw attention to. And the first of those is the song that plays in this trailer because it might be entirely new. At least, I don't recognize it at all. It sounds like it could be a minigame theme. So, it could be a song that plays in the Pianta Parlor during one of the Transformation minigames. Or, and this may be far-fetched, what if this replaces the original song that plays when Mario has to catch the egg in Glitzville? Here's the original. And here's this new one again. It certainly has that kind of chaotic tune to it. It's a goofy song, so it doesn't seem like it would replace any moments of panic or serious. Where do you guys think this song plays? Finally, separate from this trailer, I'd like to toss in something from yesterday. Nintendo made a social media post about Rockhawk, but in that post, they mentioned his title in the ring as the Golden Grandstander, which is interesting because that's not what Grubba called him originally. 
In the original game, Grubba introduced Rockhawk as the Feral Nuclear Reactor, which is a completely different name. So could we see other Glitz Pit titles get changed too? We also have a pair of Instagram posts introducing the Yoshi Kid and Rockhawk. Yoshi's post confirms that the different colors are indeed back, which is a wonderful relief, as we've only really seen the green one so far. Though, interestingly, this looks more like a render from the original game, rather than the remake, which is strange. Anyway, Rockhawk's post gives us a nice look at his new render, and lays the seeds for the story of Chapter 3, with the disappearance of Prince Mush. And that about does it for this latest short trailer. It's clear that the marketing for Paper Mario is ramping up, and I really can't wait for more. So, of course, we're likely gonna be back pretty soon with more. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and other things gaming as well, of course. Until next time, farewell.